Seth Freakin' Rollins, and this is Brett Alive on YouTube. What is going on guys, Brutal Live back with another video and today we have an absolutely banger of a video for you guys. Today we have a package from Ringside Collectibles WrestlingFigures.com where you guys can use discount code LIVE at checkout to save 10% off your purchase. You could literally buy anything from the site and use discount code LIVE, you're going to save 10%. But yes, we have a mystery package right here. It's not a mystery if you read the title, but without further ado, we are going to crack this package right open. Oh my god it is! Hushin Thunder Linger Storm Collectibles Ringside Exclusive. Oh my god. Wicked looking action figure right there. Holy crap. This figure looks freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. Just literally got announced to be inducted in the WWE Hall of Fame. So this figure could not come at a more perfect friggin' time. Look at how beautiful that figure looks. Oh my god. There's a picture of Hoosh and Thunder right, right there. Of course, we're going to take a look at the packaging. It says Storm Collectibles right there. Of course, the company that makes this. You do have a, uh, just noticing this, you do have a New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, logo right there, which is interesting to uh, see that right there, but still pretty cool. You got some Japanese lettering right there. It says Hoosh and Thunder Linger. There's a look at the side product shot of the figure looking absolutely beautiful. Oh my god. And it also says World Legend right there. Also says the same thing right there, same side. And then there's the back of the packaging right there. You got a bunch of different product shots of the figure doing some beautiful poses right there. You also do have some info right here that I can't really read because... It is all in Japanese or I'm not sure, maybe Chinese. Uh, not really sure, but let me know down in the comments down below what all that says. But yeah, uh, again, product shots all over the back of the figure looking absolutely beautiful. There's the New Japan Pro Wrestling logo again. And then again, made by Storm Collectibles. Not too much at the bottom. At the top, it says Hushin Thunder Lingos Linger Storm Collectibles figure. And then you can see through the top because it's plastic, which is absolutely awesome. Which is absolutely awesome. Without further ado, guys, we are going to crack this right open. Alright guys, here we have Hushin Thunderlinger right in front of you looking absolutely freaking beautiful. Oh my god, this figure is absolutely insane. Don't worry, we will get into it, but before we do, we gotta take a look at the interchangeable hands. Oh, let me just start off by saying the hands. You guys are probably like, dude, he's going over-exaggerated on these hands. No, dude, these things look friggin' amazing. Let me get him close up for the camera here. Oh my, like you can literally see the veins, you can see the fingers, like how they're bent up so you can see like the wrinkles in the fingers. Oh my gosh, there's a look at the palm for those, those look absolutely beautiful. Those are more like, sort of like an open hand, like a, you know, look at me or some sort of pose like that. Here you got your foreign object holding hands right here, it looks like you could hold any type, uh, type of like a weapon that you have. Maybe like a kendo stick, steel chair, he could hold literally anything with these hands right here. Those look amazing, putting those aside. We also do have, these are probably my favorite hands, these look friggin' awesome. They're sort of like a Hulk grabbing hand right there, fully opened. You could even see the, oh my gosh, the full palm of the hand looking absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, there's the top right there, looking awesome, love the look of those, oh my gosh, those are probably my favorite hands, and then he also does have these fisted hands right there, which also look amazing, we'll take a look at the backs as well for those, right there, looking awesome, and now we are going to get into the absolutely amazing, beautiful looking linger figure right here, oh my god, that looks amazing on camera, holy, oh my this thing is absolutely insane. Let's start off with the accessory. Oh my god. Oh my. This is actually all real reaction right now, guys. This. Oh my god. You have a whole. Oh, this thing is fully cloth. Oh my god. Bunch of different glitter, mainly gold. Again, as I said, bunch of different glitter. There's the inside. The detail does not stop. 
there's a different color, sort of like silver on the inside and gold on the outside. And then, of course, inside of the cape, you do have bendy wires. So if you want them, like, running or, like, flying, you could even do something cool like that. There's bendy wire in the cape, so you could literally pose the cape. That's insane. At the top of the cape, you do have, like, a cool looking shoulder pads right here with some gold horns you got a bunch of different textured design right here a bunch of different black outlining as well looking absolutely beautiful there's the look at the back right there get one more look of him with the cape on before i take it off holy dude that cape is beautiful Oh my god. But yeah, guys, we are going to take the cape off right now. I'll show you how I'm going to do it just in case you guys have the figure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down the front gently. I'm going to do it gently. And I'm going to get the hair below the cape like that so I could do that. And then I'm going to go in the back here. And then I am going to pull the hair and get it in the cape like that. So I won't damage the hair piece when I take it off or the mask piece. We would not want to do that. There's one more look at the cape right there absolutely beautiful holy crap that is amazing oh my gosh putting that aside here we have the whoosh and thunderlinger figure right there amazing looking head scan absolutely beautiful holy crap not really a head scan sort of just like a mask design oh my gosh whoosh and, Thunder whoosh and thunderlinger definitely has a very unique style of mask right here you got some nice red gold two horns I would be a fool if I did not mention these horns right here, the golden white horns right there sticking out of the side. You even have a nice little hook horn right there looking beautiful. Love the look of this figure. You are going to be paying a little extra money for this figure uh, normally than a elite figure like by Mattel because this thing is decked out fully, dude. This is absolutely insane, but still definitely worth it. You got a nice looking horn on the top. These two right here, these two little stick pieces right here, I would honestly be careful with that. I'm not even going to try bend them or nothing like that. Like that because you never know those could snap off so just be careful uh and then if you guys look at the mouth i know i might i might be spending a little too much time on this but if you guys look on the mouth you could see his friggin mouth in there let me see if i could get my lighting in here you could friggin see inside of his mask you could see his mouth that is just when you know they went all out with this figure you could see his hair coming out of the back of his mask and then you could also still see the stitching where they want the mask to be closed right there. Holy crap. I'm sorry, I keep on saying holy crap, but dude, this figure's insane, dude. Oh my god. There's a look here. Let's put the arms down because I have had him in that pose a decent amount of time. Let's take a look at him fully with his arms down. Take a look at the torso first. There's a look at the torso right there. Looking really nice. You do have some nice black and gold logos. All this is molded on so you can feel all of this. Looks beautiful. Some red, white, and black. Nice blue and gold designs right there. There's a look at the arms. You got some nice black lining going throughout the red bicep with the uh, white uh, forearm right there. And then you also do have... The little gold horn right there looking amazing. Those are the hands that I chose to put on him right now. It's sort of like a, you know, like look at me pose right there. I love that look. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Turning it around, you don't have too much detail in the back, but still, oh my god, it's beautiful, dude. You do have some black lining going right here, mainly white. And then you also do have that blue and gold little patch right there looking beautiful. Double, no, triple Triple jointed, I mean double jointed um, elbows, not triple jointed, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, double jointed elbows right there looking freaking amazing. You get some amazing poses with this figure. Moving down, you do have a nice gold belt right here with the stitchings right in front. Looking absolutely nice and beautiful. And you also do have the white little clips where the belt would of course go through in real life. There's a look at the front of the pants here. Again, more white uh, I mean, more black lining over the white right there makes it just look so fresh. You do have some red under the white. Holy, this is insane, dude. This figure's insane. Oh, my. Again, guys, this is by Storm Collectibles, ringside exclusive. Discount code live will save 10% on this at ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com. There's a look at the knees. No knee pads for this guy, but still absolutely amazing looking. Of course, double jointed knees as well. Oh, my God. Gosh, I'm going to get this guy in some amazing poses. Follow me on Instagram to see some of those poses that I'm going to post. The um, name is on the screen right now if you guys want to follow me on Instagram. But yeah, guys, moving down to the kick pads, you do have a nice little uh, gray little cover right here for the uh, calf right there. And then you also do have the white kick pad right here. And what's pretty cool is if you move the toe... The kick pad stays in place. The kick pad is not connected to the toe. So you can move the toe 
and the kick pad is not even connected to it. I think that is so freaking awesome. That's attention to detail because that's what would happen in real life if he moved his toe. The kick pad would not be connected to his toes. And then he also does have white soles right there. And there's no lettering on the bottom of the soles. I love that. Oh, my gosh. That's always so annoying with Mattel figures, if I'm being completely honest, how they have lettering down here. That's annoying. But, yeah, no lettering on the bottom. I love that. That is awesome. But, yeah, guys, that was the Hoosh and Thunder Laker figure. We are going to throw back on all the accessories, and then we are going to get to the outro. Let's do it. All right, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Comment down below something awesome. What do you guys like about this figure? Let me know down in the comments down below. Even for the fans that do not know who Hoosh and Thunder Linger is, th this is an insane cool figure that you should honestly add to your collection. Not just saying that because Rank Size is the sponsor, but this figure is absolutely insane. 20 out of 10. This figure is insanely cool. I really hope you guys enjoyed my review. I really tried my best to show you guys all the in-depth and cool stuff that this figure has to offer. I really hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Hoosh and Thunderlinger Storm Collectibles Ringside Exclusive figure. One more time, this figure is available at Ringside Collectibles WrestlingFigures.com where you guys could use discount code LIVE at checkout to save 10% and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bretto Live is out.